The governor of Migori County, Bwana Okoth Obado, has been arrested. His Excellency Okoth Obado was arrested this morning, Friday 21st September 2018. He was arrested in Nairobi. Early this week, reports had come out in the media that his wife had been called in for grilling. But as it turns out, the grilling was postponed. That, to me, is a very clear sign that she's not a chief suspect. Despite what some of us thought, yeah, innocently, while others were definitely trying to push this, yeah, as a way of uh, casting doubt. Apart from the PR, this can be a very effective legal strategy. Because when you defend a murder suspect, as I've said before on this channel, one of the best strategies is to create doubt, yeah, and try to manufacture another possible witness, another possible suspect. Of course, that does not mean the other possible suspect will be arrested, but what all you are doing is creating enough doubt, because for somebody to be convicted of murder, there must be no doubt. Now, the family of the late Sharon Otieno had said that they were not going to bury their daughter until the chief suspect, yeah, the person who they suspect murdered their daughter, is arrested. And so now, their next step or their actions will tell us exactly who in their mind was the chief suspect. Because if they now go ahead with the burial of Sharon Otieno, the message will be clear. Because Bono Obado has been arrested. Actually, Obado's arrest has been imminent over the last few days. Yeah. Why do I say that? Because even the arrests and the people being called in for interrogation were all people very close to the governor. For instance, his bodyguard. A clerk who runs errands for the governor, who was the owner of the car that police believe is the one that kidnapped Sharon, leading to her death or murder. When you put that together with the very early arrest of Bonaoyamo, who is the personal assistant of uh, Bonaokotho Bado, it was extremely clear from the beginning of the investigations where this was headed or the direction which the detectives were looking at. Now, this arrest has come very shortly after DNA results came back, confirming that the baby that Sharon was carrying belonged to Banakotho Bado. So why did it take so long to arrest the Migori governor? Well, he's no ordinary citizen. Yeah, he's a governor of a county. And the truth of the matter, the world over, arresting a small man is easy. However, you cannot arrest a big man unless you have very compelling, conclusive evidence that uh, can be able to convict them. And so we must assume this is exactly what detectives have now. Now, today is Friday. The governor has been arrested today. And it is highly unlikely, not impossible, but highly unlikely that he will be presented in court today with the charges. And the most likely thing that will happen is that he will be charged on Monday. Now, courtesy of our new constitution, a murder suspect can be freed on bail. And there's no doubt this is what his lawyers are already working very hard on. Now, as I've said before on this channel, politically, the governor is finished, whether he's guilty or not. And therefore, the honorable thing, yeah, if he really loves his Migori residents, is for him to resign. I'll, of course, keep you updated on developments in this story as it develops today. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha. Music